Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today I'm doing a little experiment, and I'm sure you've seen them around before, um, where you make mold out of silicone caulk. So that's what I'll be doing today. Um, I've been asked a couple times in the past, and then Rhonda asked me recently, and I thought maybe it's time for me to give it a try. So that's what we're doing today. It's a very inexpensive way to make a silicone mold. For this, you're going to need some 100% silicone caulk. This is what I bought. I bought it for Walmart. I believe it was under $2. I have some baby oil, some cornstarch, then I have a stir stick for mixing. And I did try one already and it worked pretty well. Now I'm going to say use more rather than less. And I'm going to add the cornstarch. So I'm going to put a bunch on there. And with my stir stick, I'm going to start mixing it up. And the cornstarch is what makes it not sticky anymore. And the baby oil may or may not have something to do with that as well. But you want to just kind of mix it up. And you want to do it kind of quickly so it doesn't start to set up. Okay, once I get that mostly mixed in, I'm going to add some more. Okay, I'm going to add just a squirt of the baby oil. Oops, and work that into it as well. That kind of makes it a little bit sticky again for whatever reason. Okay, and then I'm going to add just a little more of the cornstarch. Mix it in, mix it in. Okay, and then it starts to keep shape. And that's what you're looking for. So I didn't use any measurements. I just went until it stopped absorbing the cornstarch then you know it's done. And when it's not sticking to your hands anymore, it's done. So I'm going to roll this into a ball and squish it down. And I have a couple different things that I'm going to mold into this or imprint into it. I have this palm tree, which is a plastic palm tree that has some glitter on there. So I'm going to stick that right in here. And then I want to do this pendant. It's a sand dollar pendant. So I'm going to press that right here. Okay. And then you want to make sure that you sort of tap it up against the piece that you're imprinting so that it has an edge. And then I'm going to use this shell, and I thought it would be fun just to add that to it as well. And just press that right in and see how that turns out. Now I'm going to let this just sit for at least a couple of hours and then I'll come back and pull it out and we'll see how it looks. Okay, this has been sitting here for several hours. I was outside working. So I'm going to just carefully peel these pieces out. Here's the shell. So here's the mold. They all came out fine. And it's real easy to use the polymer clay with it. So I'll take a little piece here and we'll use this on the shell. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to press it in just like this. Make sure I get it all down in there. And for polymer clay, it's, it's real easy. All you have to do is pull it out and you have your impression just like that. And then then we'll bake it. So I'll do a quick polymer clay and blue for the sand dollar just because that might look kind of cool. So there it is. <clears throat> so we'll bake those and now we're going to try it with some resin and see if it works with resin as well. <clears throat> For this experiment, I'm just going to add a little amber pigment in here just so we don't have clear resin and we'll be able to maybe see things a little bit better. That gives it just a little bit of an amber look to it. I have a little extra so I'll put it in this one. 
Take your lighter, pop the bubbles, let it sit a minimum of 12 hours, and then we'll see how it worked. So I've already unmolded one of them, and I'm going to unmold these other ones pretty quick. You kind of want to break the seal all around, and then peel it off. Now the problem I'm having is the mold kind of sticks to the resin pieces. You know, and you can pick it off and it'll be fine, but it doesn't come out as clean as, as maybe it should. See, so I'd have to do some cleanup on the palm tree and for sure the sand dollar. The sand dollar stuck a lot for some reason. The shell wasn't too bad, there's just a couple spots. And then here was that other pendant that I had used before. So they're okay, but I don't think I would use these molds with resin but I would definitely use it with the polymer clay because those came out really nicely and all the detail, I'm just going to use this wax rub, rub and buff. You just need a tiny little bit right on your finger just to bring out the highlights and end up with something like that so it brings out the details. And I can do the same with this. Just go over it very lightly with the tip of my, er, with my finger. I'm not pressing down at all. And I'll have this product link down in the description below. So all of a sudden you can see all the details on it and it looks really pretty. So it brings a little bit of the detail out on the shell as well. So that's my experiment with these molds. Um, again, I would not use them for resin because I don't think they turned out very well. They stuck to my resin pieces. Um, some people I know have had better luck with it. So be sure to let me know if you have tried making these molds and if you have had luck with them and how it worked with resin if you try, tried it with resin and how it worked with the polymer, the polymer clay. Because the polymer clay, I would absolutely use this again for polymer clay anytime. Thanks guys for watching, subscribing, and being here every week. We will definitely see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.